It's a new week, it's a new day. This morning, we've got the workers in. A very strange place to start a video, literally at the end of a day. However, better late than never. And today I'm actually shooting the second part of an image that I'm structuring together for a blog post, which is gonna be part of my second Netflix recommendations blog post over on alleygordon.net. So today we're talking about two documentaries and which you're gonna to have to go over there to see what they are. I'm not gonna keep on giving them away on my YouTube channel, but both of them involve two people that take on huge challenges. They demonstrate what commitment, hard work, and devotion really mean. That's what the blog post is gonna be a little bit about. So I'm gonna be shooting a picture today, which you may have seen on my Instagram promoting this video. If not, you would have seen it a couple of days ago promoting the blog post itself, more than likely. I'm gonna get busy finishing off what I'm doing here. So you're probably wondering what it is that I'm doing. I'm actually merging two photos together. It's part of a new style of photography that I've been incorporating over on Instagram. So I'm trying to capture myself in environments where typically I'd obviously be really big, but I'm actually shrunk down to fit and scale up next to the objects that would traditionally be a lot smaller than myself. This links in really nicely with the blog post because I'm trying to depict me climbing. So this is the concepts that I came up with. I'm just gonna interchange the items that I'm gonna be putting myself around. Um, at the moment, I'm shooting the old Olympus Pen F, a cable lead, a battery, and an SD card. And then I'm gonna grab some slightly larger objects in a second, my gimbal, a couple of lenses, and then finally, I've got some sewing kit uh, bits and bobs that I might have to play around with and shoot that potentially on the macro lens. So like the extreme other end of the scale of zooming in on small objects. Um, and I'm gonna be within that. So like I said, a very sort of Honey I Shrunk the Kids inspired photo shoot going on today. And you are catching the second part of it. The first part of it was of course with me. I went and strapped some jute rope around a tree outside and I was just swinging off of it and capturing myself midair. So it kind of looked like I was hanging, floating. Almost like I was abseiling down, I guess. It gives me a lot more flexibility when I'm hanging to incorporate myself in new environments as opposed to if I was having my foot on something or both feet on something, it becomes a lot harder to actually put together the structure of the image to ensure that my feet are positioned in the right place. For ease, I decided to do it that way, but I think it should still be effective and it should still come out very nicely. So this lens right here, this is the 90mm macro, I think it's a 2.8, yep, 2.8, 90mm, as you can see here. This is the lens that's used to basically magnify anything, so you can get really close, lots of detail, small objects, insects and stuff like that. Um, I enjoy having a lot of fun with this. It's going to be the first time I've tried to incorporate it into an image for my main feed, so something a little different, but you've got to keep on experimenting, trying new things, and uh, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today.
so this is the setup and I'm trying to get these scissors to stand on top of that tiny little coil of thread. It's not easy. The struggles of dealing with small objects. I'm not used to dealing with small objects. That's normally Lydia's job. So there's our mini set, all ready to shoot. So just loading up the photos from the shoot just a second ago. Uh, so you can see a little bit clearer now. This is the camera shot and this is the needle and thread. So imagine little me just hanging here. <laughs> So we get busy trying to stitch those together and hopefully make it look legit. I've actually got to flip this around because I technically hang that direction, not that direction. Well, I could flip me around, one or the other, we shall see. And there we have it, the finished project. You can see down the side here, my layers that I've created. So I've added some flares into the top of the image and then darkened down the bottom. Of course, I wasn't hanging, so... You can see here, this was one of the images that I used where I held down a piece of string just to help start off the rope that was hanging down. And then hopefully, there you go. So that was me swinging around in the garden. This was the other option that I could still come back to. It reminds me a little bit more of like the borrowers, I think, the threads and the needles and stuff. So I might have a play around with this, but I felt like that was the stronger image for this particular picture and it worked quite nicely because my feet are actually resting on the viewfinder which is cool so yeah one image complete and uh, that will be the image that will go into the blog post to talk about whatever it is i've spoken about <laughs> so it's been the first time since lockdown that lydia and i've been out in the wagon together and today we're heading to Burford Garden Centre. Yes. Because we're going to be looking for some pots, plants, and potentially a water feature as well for the downstairs basement area. Home stuff, they've got art, they've got garden furniture, they've got stationery, pottery, they've got everything. So, okay. So, yeah, primarily we're going for plant pots and uh, a water feature aren't we? Yeah I haven't so. seen any water features as nice as the ones that I saw there online like oh, I can't cool. find them anywhere even yeah. the ones that they had I can't find them online so okay. I thought it'd be good to look at those ones together. Lovely so yeah that's the uh, plan of action today it's currently Sunday if anyone's wondering oh, that's a nice woodland like pine trees. Oh yeah, shit's closed this way. Oh yeah. Please don't swear on my channel. This is Mill and Gordon. No dirty language here. Although that's a lovely woodland. So anyway, we're off on our first adventure out together. I think it is anyway. Whoa. It is our first time going out together, isn't it? I've never done that in this car. What? Where you felt the, the suspension. Follow the I readjust. The readjust because, because my wheels were like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Off um, But yeah, we've not been out together, have we? Um, Since lockdown? I think we have. So we've never been to a garden centre? Not to a garden centre. I've center. been to no public places with you since lockdown. I've been on my own. I feel like we've been some places though, haven't we? No, I'm pretty sure this is the first time. Well, they'll correct you in your comments if yep. it isn't. <laughs> have me and Lydia been anywhere in the last three months together in a public place? Because I can't actually remember going to anywhere. I got very upset on the M1 yesterday. Yeah because there was a little either um, pheasant hen or like a grouse and it was very little, like a baby one, just walking on the side of the main road. Oh, um, and it, jaywalking. Yeah, it, it looked a little bit lost and disorientated. And Perhaps I, it had been knocked by a car. Well, if it hadn't, it was looking like it was gonna... Mm. Sprootlings! Yeah. There's a lot of corn around us at the moment. A lot of spooky things. Right, I'll catch up when we are approaching Burford. I love this place here. Right, let's take one more thumbnail. Sunlight's right on my forehead. That's okay, it's about me really. It's my channel. No, you're not your filming. <laughs> it's gonna be the thumbnail. Some seriously busy roads. Yeah, I feel like this road is not usually this busy. But lovely countryside views. It's so nice having a panoramic roof as well. Panoramic? Panoramic. What did I say then? Pan panoramic. 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 That would be a lovely farm to live in. Yeah. Surrounded by fields. 
If you had a field, what would you have in it? Horses. You'd have horses? Yeah. Would you have a menage and stables? No, it'd be like wild horses. Oh yeah, very nice. What would you guys have if you had a field? If that was your field just over there, what would you put in it? Horses. Which, yeah, well, I'm asking them. Oh. I don't know if I'd grow something, or whether... You can have one that you grow, and I can have one But then would I just let it be like wildflower? Would I let it, would I want to actually harvest something? Would I want to grow some veg, some fruit? Would I have a vineyard? A vineyard would, would be really cool, wouldn't it? Not that I'd be able to do anything with the grapes because I don't know how to make wine or anything, but to have your own vineyard would be quite a fun project. I'm not going to teach you how to make wine. Yeah, they could, yeah. There's so much you could do. I mean, there'd be people watching this like, oh my God, I'd put like a motocross dirt track in there. And some people would say like, I'd have like a theme park. What would you do if you had a field? 10 acres, what would you do with it? I wanna know, that is a lovely little house as well, tucked away in the woodland. Yeah, it's such a shame that this road is so busy though. Yeah, I know, but this is the reality, Lids. Whenever you see anything when you're driving, you're always going to follow it up with, it's a shame it's by the road though. Yeah. Of course it's gonna be by the road, you've seen it from the road. Anyway. No, but you go down nice roads when there's, like they're quiet, like that house we saw near us. These fields, fields for days. Lovely landscapes. We this one. Oh yeah. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> wow, it's already starting to look like a well-kept area all of a sudden. To left. Oh, Carrie and I go wild at the houses on the road that leads to, leads to the um, garden centre. Yeah. We'll keep this rolling then. After a quarter of a mile, you will reach your destination on Shilton Road. It's a lovely house. It's a beautiful house. There's so many that you can't look at them all. Look at this one. Oh, a little cottage. And there's one just coming up here. I mean, am I allowed to show people's houses on look my trail? Look at that one. Yeah, wow. Lovely. I really do apologise if that's your house and I've just oh, showed it I put it on someone's house when I was in um, that's a nice the Peak District well. yesterday and they were like, that's my dad's house. No way. Yeah. Somebody messaged me actually and said that they put an offer in on that wind mill house or water yeah someone house. messaged me that as well yeah. they wanted to put an offering on it yeah because i said i was like, i'd love to know because it's just it's just there it's just derelict and it's got like access from a main road but it backs onto the entire place where we and went if it's for the got, hiking is it a water mill yeah so you could use renewable energy yeah. from the house because you could generate it from the, the water mill itself yeah so then you could have electricity maybe for free or something you will reach your destination on and a big new development it looks like it's going to be made out of stone. Here we are then. Burford Garden Centre and Co. Oh, it's going to be busy. Oh, uh oh, it's a sunny day, Sunday. You'll see if there's a queue out the front. I think there will be. This is cute. I know, that's what I'd love to put in the back corner. Yeah. Um, Oh, I have been here before. I remember those statues on the now roundabout. Turn left, yeah. And then immediately turn left. Oh no, there's not a queue. There's no queue. Oh, oh there is. No, there's there a little isn't. one. There isn't a queue. Okay. There's a lot of cars though. Yeah, so maybe. So is there something else that goes on over here? Now make a U turn. Anyway, I've just found these hidden in the car. It makes me very happy. Big fans of this table. A bit nice in the kitchen, wouldn't it? Lovely. Such beautiful lamps. Cleaning products. You got one of these, didn't you? Yeah. In the screen. So far, we've got a few garden tools, some bird feed, door stops, some rose feed. Two thousand seven hundred and fifty pound. It's got a side cut, hasn't it? Very Wallace and Gromit. Yeah. Oh, water feature lids. See it? Wow, that is what I'd love to have in the basement. Oh, that's what I would, I'd love to have lemon trees down it. It doesn't get enough sunlight. So these are the kind of water features that we're thinking of putting down in the basement area. They're like self-contained. Sound is so relaxing. Yeah, they look really cool, babe. Yeah, but 
The flat one? Or yeah. the thin one with the oh, three? Detailed, yeah. yeah. So Lydia is getting very excited about these little summer houses. Yeah, so it lets more light in. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Perfect for me to live in when I'm in the doghouse. It's a lovely dog's house that is. Let's take a little look inside. So this one would set you back 33,665. Comes in a Farron Ball finish. And then this monster over here with the balcony. It's got a, lot, a bit more headroom in here. Dining table, lounging area. Obviously a lovely piece of decking. And this little puppy would set you back 47,290. So this is a lovely little pot and shed. Great choice of tools there. Got to set those myself at home. Very nice. So you would do all your potting over there. How much is a potting shed? This is 13,725. Well, I like this Rolson gardening apron. Oh yeah. It's funky, isn't it? Very handy. So if Lydia was to have a greenhouse of her choice, this is exactly what it would be. Full on potting shed, greenhouse, the lot. So is this where you would plant to stop yeah. animals from feeding? They're cool, aren't they? Nice hoe. Someone to get rid of the cobwebs. Yeah. This is more like it. It's got a little velux. Yeah, and you can sta stand in here, which is nice. Just put gravel on the floor. Yeah, perfect. So we just finished loading up the car, and as you can see behind me, we're bushy in here. That was successful, wasn't it? Big sprutlings. Very big. So we've gone for two orange zest trees. Let me tell you, they smell incredible. Yeah, it Can't reminds us of the um, Bora, Bora, of Bora Bora, the yeah. Tahir flower. Tahir. Oh my gosh. In, if these survive, which we're not hopeful they will, but if they do survive in the basement area, it's just gonna smell incredible down there. If they don't, we're gonna move them upstairs and so they can get more light, um, but yeah. Very successful. Um, we've also got lots of tools and stuff that you can't really see amongst all of this madness, but we're gonna head back now and uh, hopefully not get stuck in any traffic. You're not used to us leaving you, are you? Have you been lonely? Have you been lonely? Yeah. It's very lonely on your own, isn't it? Oh no. Mm. Very soft. You been territorial? Right, so we've just got back. And as you can see, it was a very tight fit. I think we might have done a little bit of damage getting these in. Mm, looks okay. Anyway, there we have them. So we went for the citrus calamondin and we're going to be using these in these huge Burford pots that you can see. Oh, I even got this for my office. This is one of those uh, devil ivies, whatever they're called. Bad boy. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah, Slummy, look at all the new goodies we got. You coming to check out daddy's new toys? So I have now started to build a collection of Kent and Stowe. Um, and today I picked up a new rake and a hoe and then I also got a broom but that isn't from Kent and Stowe so they didn't do one that is just a Burford own. I hope that we can keep these little puppies alive. It does look like some of them are struggling like this here but we've got some good produce on here so wish me luck. It's probably my responsibility to make sure these stay alive.
just unpacked this stuff. Uh, this is some of the bits we picked up from the garden center. So one of the main reasons why we headed today was to look at some of the greenhouses. Lydia has her eyes on a Robinson's greenhouse. Crane are actually the company that are at Burford and they also do like summer houses and stuff as well, which I know you saw us looking at. In fact, I think this was the one that was like 47 grand um, that was there. We are looking at greenhouses at the moment. Lydia wants to have her own vegetable patches and greenhouse and stuff. So that's something that's gonna be happening in the garden. I also brought some different sort of like nuts for the birds. I've actually been feeding them sunflower seeds and they go wild for them. Um, but I thought I'd mix it up and try these nice nuts. Keep the variety strong for them. Rich in oils, it's good to hear. So they're gonna be going into the feeders very soon. But Lid and I are turning into proper cheese fiends. So um, this is a black truffle cheddar. This is a smoked cheddar. And this is an oaked smoked cheddar. So as you can tell, cheddar is one of our favorites. Um, and then I think somebody might be able to say this. I thought this was a brie, but I'm actually not sure what it is because it looks like it's in French. We've got a new holder for the kitchen roll. Of course, stocked up on some swanky balsam vinegar. There's only one left on the shelf. Uh, so that's why I went for it. Then we got four acorn door stops, which we've actually needed for a while because we've just got some really crappy ones at the moment. Some Union hand roasted coffee. And then this was really cool actually. I'm very excited about this. This is a garden 360 sprinkler. It does 23 meters. You just plug the hose into the end and it'll keep the grass obviously watered during those slightly drier parts of the year. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a go, seeing how that turns out. And then I actually wanted to grab a couple of whiskies to try. We visited the Cotswolds Distillery and did a lot of the gin stuff. These two lovely ladies, are another are a couple of whiskey stills over here. So that's Mary and Janice. Ah, okay. That's all for making whiskey. Wow. So we've just walked into the room full of full whiskey casks. How incredible is this? The actual reason why the founder started the distillery in the first place was because of his love and passion for whiskey. So I picked up some of his single malt 2014 um, to try. And if I do like that, I'll be stocking up on more on this. And then also Lydia highlighted Beeble, which I've never heard of. And it's a honey whiskey that I thought, again, I'm going to give that a go. So I've got a tiny little sample just to see what it tastes like. And if I do enjoy it, I'll be getting a big glass of that. We obviously stocked up on my current favorite barbecue sauce. This is sticky barbecue sauce. This stuff is very, very good and it didn't last very long. So I got two. Lids is stocked up on her Cotswolds wine. And then, as I mentioned earlier outside, I got myself a new plant for the office. I've just chucked on a pair of shorts <laughs> because I nearly ripped those chinos I was wearing when I was taking those plants out of the boot, stretched the fabric. So I think I might have killed those off now, which is a shame because they were my best fit in chinos from Reese. I'm gonna try it and get those plants down into the basement. Wish me luck. They are so heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And then this evening we're gonna do just pizzas, Lydia. Yeah. Pizza night, chill night tonight. After I've done this, I'm trying to put my feet up and relax, ready for next week. So I was beat, I wasn't strong enough. So I called in the big dog, big guns over here. Give us a lift, graze my knee. Someone call A&E, it's got my little running shorts on. <laughs> right, so we'll get this one down and we'll come up and grab that one and get that one down. Take them at the same time. You ready? Yeah. You have to watch this light here in particular. Oh. Yeah, yeah so we'll, just, we'll just take it slow, we'll just hit it and put brush it and yeah. then we'll move it, hopefully. Okay. Right. Don't right. tilt it forward, yeah. Try and keep it flat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Watch out. 
Oh, windy. Well, it's sticking its corner, did you? Yeah, I think so. I can see you! You can come down that way! Why does that light look so yellow? Because it's the bowl. Oh. Yeah. Hello! The new ones have arrived now, so I can change them. Hello! So yeah, do you know what I mean? The dirt's just going to go through. Hello! Oh, wind your pants? Yeah. <laughs> That black cable is going to be a double socket. I'm going to stick a water feature that you saw earlier. That's going to go in that section there. Got the new lights on. Lumi was really busy fitting those last week. You did a good job, darling. <laughs> You're very proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah. You're very proud of yourself. Give everybody a kissy. <laughs> good girl. The staircase still needs to be painted white. And then this base is starting to come together. And of course, you need to put some seating in here. And uh, it's really nice, you can just open up these bifold doors into these rooms and into Lydia's office and it just creates this very like indoor-outdoor space, which is lovely. So the cladding on the wall is called Cedral, kind of like a concrete mixed um, composite and uh, it has a 50 year warranty. It is paintable, but you shouldn't really need to paint it, just touch up any chips or any accidents. Who's the floor by Lids? Uh, Carpietra. Carpietra. Tumbled limestone. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Bye, Lovely. And then we obviously filled in the manhole cover, which is where the sump pumps live, which you've seen before on my channels with the frogs. I've had to get them out with a net. And then I brought a uh, 10 by 10 stainless steel gully to go in the middle to allow the water to flow in. So all of this paving's actually got a gradient on it. So when it rains, it all just kind of like a wet room flows down into the drain. And happy days. Right, you ready to move some plants? Oh wow, it looks so good! Yeah? Yeah! Oh, oh. little foodie! Where are you? Yeah, that looks quite cool. Concentration. Phenomenal. Yeah, it's starting to look good, isn't it? So, this compost stuff here, do you want to wait until we actually plant them to put this in? Yeah. And we need to buy more soil on Amazon or something? Yeah. Online. Well, we can just try and get more of this Yeah. on Amazon. We'll just chuck loads of that in the mix. Um, we want to water them though, don't we? Yeah, I think that one looked a bit damp anyway, but I've got the hose down to tidy up the pave, pavement as well. Yeah, I'm really happy. I think they're hopefully going to survive. So our, like I've mentioned, our biggest concern is obviously down here, they only get two hours of direct sunlight and then obviously a whole day of light, but direct sunlight's actually what they need. They need like seven to eight hours, but I'm not sure how intense. So I think we're going to try them down here. We're going to see how they settle in. And if they're not looking good, then we're going to move them upstairs. We're currently leaving them in the pots that they came in. And then we're going to switch out the initial planting pots for these big black ones. You can see we need to get some more soil and some more citrus focus repotting mix. So I'm going to try and give them as much chance as we can. All right, noisy. Hello. <laughs> you wipe that poo away, my love.
Yeah. First time you've been wet in a while. Making it rain. <laughs> Soggy socks. I've got proper soggy socks. I think I might take them off actually. I'd rather my feet were wet than the socks. Oh! Savage. Right. Enough? Yep. Yeah. So initially we were going to go for lemon trees and they did have two in there they did look a bit sorry for themselves but there it were two in there this one that won but me over. yeah these smell so strong it actually adds an insane scent to this area it's almost like having an outdoor air freshener isn't it yeah it's how good they smell all right i've just read the instructions i'm going to take this sprinkle head out so basically this is where you put the hose pipe this catch here you can see if you uh, have this catch down then you can adjust the angles at which the water is fired out so you can basically go from 360 down to like a 45 degree or lower because this keeps in the sprinkler so it'll only like shoot out in the line. So if we close them off, lift that up, that's gonna spin around 360. And this little valve here, you loosen and tighten that to change the spray. And then this part here, you can deflect the water off of. So you can control the height that the water fires out from. That's the bit of kit. So let's gonna stick this in the ground and see what it does. Got me. Ugh. So these are supposed to obviously, like I said, do around about 25 meters, but it all comes down to the amount of water pressure that's in your system. So they said if you've got two bars of pressure, this should do 23 meters. By the looks of it, we must have about 0.75 bars of pressure because this thing's struggling to do a meter. Look. <laughs> so, not so successful as of yet. I'll have to see if there's anything I can do to uh, help this along. It might be the fact that the hose pipe's really long um, and it is like a shorter run, maybe, but I'm not sure. I'll have to speak to uh, the plumber and see what he suggests, or the gardener. Would you like to cut some of your homegrown basil? So we've got pizza, pizza, one gluten-free, one normal, margarita. Liz has just picked up her little garden scissors to cut some of her basil. Does it hurt you to cut something you've grown or does it feel nice knowing that you're eating homegrown? Well, people have told me that I need to cut these. Yes, top ones off or something. Top ones off because it needs to go into here. Yeah, there's too much energy is going so for the growth. To get through this yeah just cut it all off tonight we'll have it all yeah, off tonight just do this do you cut it off at the knuckle on these as well so you cut I'm it back i'm guessing so yeah you don't want it to get too high do you i guess no, no. someone will tell us in the comments i'm sure if you're not supposed to do this but you've We've just done, done it, it. <laughs> uh, i've also stuck the two different types of feed outs you can see the slightly browner one they're the uh, nuts that i picked up today and then the sunflower seeds to the left Hello, lummy. it smells amazing doesn't it it is just so strong unreal Makes me so happy. My own basil that I grew from a baby. A little seed. Little sprout. Oh, I've done that all one on one. Do you want me to do half and half? We can just pick it up, can't we? Lovely job. Go on then. Oh yeah, you've put the fire on, have you? Ooh. Little cheeky monkey. What a successful day. Well, kind of. I feel like we made lots of decisions and got around to picking up lots of new things, which was nice because it was really nice to get out, spend a bit of money on some things for the house that you can actually pick up and feel and decide if you want it, as opposed to just ordering on Amazon. Amazon must have made an absolute killing, and probably still are, over uh, this period. We're gonna settle down now, probably. I, I don't know if I can be bothered to watch something on TV. I might just sit here and just like snooze. Yeah, I think you have to just 
just yeah. have a quiet evening. Should I put some, the chilled one. some classical music yeah. on? Yeah. So that is what we're going to do. It's just food coma, just uh, chilled. <laughs>